All right, today I just decided to look at the version 2 a little bit more and kind of just get an idea of why shells crack and why they don't, depending on just not springs but different builds. And I've actually, I think I discovered something without really looking too far into it. Um, this shell's cracked here and here on both sides, but it's like hairline cracks. Now, there's different cylinder heads here, and this one's not going to be able to work because this is a version 3. It's got a lip on the top, but this is just to demonstrate what I have noticed. So pull off the gearbox shell right here, and between gearbox shells and between cylinder heads, there is a little bit of a spec difference when you're considering this hole right here, or this, this excuse me, this mound that holds the hole to the cylinder head and where the hole is and then how um, how much width or thickness the cylinder head has. Um, there's different thicknesses where they're off just a little bit in a millimeter or even half that. Um, what we can see here is there is differences. So if I can kind of show on camera that I don't know how well you can see that from here. How much a difference. Anyways, let's get to my point. This whole this mound right here, uh, sometimes what happens is it doesn't allow the cylinder head to actually touch the front here. It doesn't actually become flush. So we're gonna put a cylinder head in here. And there's this little there's this little gap. You can see it a gap between the front. See? It's a little bit of a gap. Now, because of this gap, when the gearbox closed, you can move the cylinder head back and forth. This, again, this does depend on the hole to your cylinder head, the holes. But uh, it's not all the way pressed forward, and you can totally tell when you lift it off and you, and you look at it, there's a tiny gap that does not press it all the way forward. So my thought is the impact is between this mound and this mound. Therefore, it's closer to, these, to this section. So even if you were to radius this and have a better material, you could still get cracking if your cylinder head was not actually pressing towards the front. Okay, it's only pressing in the mound. So when the piston comes forward and it hits, the impact is going through the mound here and the mound here, which is more likely to crack at these areas. So if the impact was purely at the front here, purely at the front here, we could see that it would have it travel back here. So um, to basically point this out, I'll put in a different cylinder head. This is a version two VFC gearbox shell from my SCAR H SSR, which I'm currently not using anymore. This is the cylinder head that goes to it. Okay. Now, I had this without Sorbo installed on two different builds. And the two different builds, it did not crack. However, when I went to a third build, and this is even with Sorbothene, about the same spring, it cracked. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you that this cylinder head is the same. This was the one it came with. When it goes in here, it actually fits tight to the very front. There is no gap. And you might say, oh, my hand's doing that. I'll put it in here.
This is a lot more wiggle room. No wiggle room. So what's happening is this is not hitting the front at all. This hits towards the front. As so I put this in, close this up. The impact, and I can actually feel it hit the front here. It's hitting the front. Um, it's not hitting the mound. And if I were to look at it, you can see the holes are a tad bit bigger in diameter. And so they hit the front. Now, considering this, you might, I don't know if you guys think this is bogus or not, but I actually might start looking at cylinder heads and modifying the hole just slightly to allow it to tap the very front of the gearbox. Um, tell me what you guys think. Uh, this is just a very interesting little uh, look through. Um, I sat down and thought about it and I went, well, why did this shell crack compared to the other builds that didn't? Uh, when it had sorbethine or not. Um, there was a different cylinder head in here. It was a garter. So I don't have one currently on me to show exactly how it fits in here, but I'm very positive that the difference is it's much like this. It was not touching the front at all. And instead, uh, what happened is it's just touching those mounds. And it's more prone to crack when the impact is only in the mounds because it's right here towards this area. Now, uh, if this is for sure true, which I'm pretty positive, this could be a modification that could be done just to check your your cylinder head and make sure it's hitting the front of your gearbox. Now, whoever doesn't think that that might be true, they can say bogus or whatever, but clearly to me it looks like it's true right now. I'd have to do more uh, builds and different um, cylinder heads to show that they don't hit the front compared to having a little bit of support or um, drilling out these holes just a tiny bit so they hit the front. And I thought this would be great to show on camera because of that reason. Um, here is some bonnet packing that I got from uh, Lowe's. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it on the uh, the cylinder heads that from now on just to see how different it is from sorbo sorbethine excuse me just say the whole word uh, you can see the thickness of it. it's pretty thick um, I think this is about one fourth of inch I'm not real sure anyways uh, you put this on right here and it fits flushly I mean it fits flushly it's perfect size um, with this installed on a cylinder head with a piston uh, and a really powerful spring, it will already correct the angle of engagement to 12 o'clock when it's installed. So um, that would be the 12 o'clock about right here from what I can see from my angle. So I'm going to try this out because I've had Sormethine just like bore itself out and just keep boring and boring. I've noticed that this impact is a lot more resistant. A lot more resistant than sorbethine. I could take sorbethine, kind of twist it, and start, you know, ripping it. This is really, uh, really good material. It's very durable. It may not be like uh, impact. You know, take uh, take a little bit less impact for the front here of the uh, gearbox shell and the cylinder head. But um, I'm going to try this out anyways, just because I want to see something last a long time, and I'm just trying to make durable as possible where I don't have to open as much. And here is here is a piece of aluminum and this is about three millimeters in, in di uh, excuse me thickness. Um, this I'm going to use to cut out because I got this from Lowe's for about fifteen dollars. You can see how long it is. It's very long. Um, I'm going to cut this out and put this in the front of the gearbox shell. So here we go gearbox shell and I'm going to make a plate cut it out just to add a plate that helps pr pressure on the front of the gearbox shell right here so I'm thinking with that and a cylinder head modification or if it's already touching the front um, some sorbo 
thinking with all these methods that I can prevent cracking very well because really I really have this belief and I'm pretty positive that the reason this shell cracked more of the reason was because the cylinder head did not fit flushly to the front of the gearbox it only fit to the mounds and the mounds were getting the impact the impact needs to hit this and into the very front of the shell here and then if you had this which would put pressure against it excuse me like this if it put pressure against it like this uh, in the shell then your impact I would see it being a lot less uh, prone to cracking um, you can radius these areas however I will tell you that I have seen it crack regardless of the material the radius and a plate in front of it so what I'm thinking is there's a little bit more to it because I've seen some not crack and I've seen some crack so it makes me think you know what there's a little bit difference here in, in, in parts somehow there has to be something different and so I went on a little investigation of looking around at it and that's what I've determined um, so tell me what you guys think. I don't think it's bogus at all. I think this is actually pretty pretty nice to, to see. And I'm very positive that it's going to make a huge difference in my future builds. So I'll talk to you guys later. And bump you with a fist.